It's fun when we get to see the specimens that come from the herbarium at the University of South Carolina. And, um, and I must say that they have not put fertilizer in my shoes. I did not magically grow. They have me standing <laughs> on a box. So um, John, Dr. Nelson has not shrunk up. Your stature has not diminished at there all. There you go. Um, well, maybe in one direction. But John, um, you've got some plants that you say have some not always pleasant smells. smelly properties. I want to start off with a little story. Did you hear about the man who took his dog to the vet? No, I he didn't He tells hear the that. vet, Dr. Doctor, my dog doesn't have a nose. Oh, my word. The vet says, how does he smell? The man says, terrible. <laughs> okay, that's pretty okay. silly. That's and, what it was um, like to be in his class, and we had to laugh because he was going to give us a grade. It reminds me of uh, sometimes students have come to me, and I've, I continue this silliness by talking to them about whether they should study zoology or botany. Mm -hmm. And I'll end up telling them, well, usually uh, animals... Um, smell worse and they have teeth. Oh. So study botany. And of course, you know, the argument is that, well, plenty of, of plants can smell bad. And they also have stickers. And there's also cactus, St yeah. That's right. Okay. All right. So tonight I just thought it would be fun to talk about smells that plants make. They're not always pleasant, of course. And um, these smells come from basically two different areas that we, that we know about. One of those is, of course, pollination. And a lot of times plants will produce flowers that are quite fragrant in one way or another. And try to attract the bees and right, things to come to right. them. Right, right. And um, on the other hand, there are some kinds of plants that uh, affect their pollinators uh, arriving by having pretty nasty smells, mm -hmm. stinky smells. Uh -huh. And as long as it works, what's the what, difference? Yeah, yeah, they don't care. And um, the other uh, side of it is that many plants have uh, parts that produce stinky smells that don't have anything to do with the flowers. Oh, really? Well, sure. Oh, the, the, um, the leaves, of The course. foliage. Yeah. And, of course, uh -huh. think of mint that has all sorts of yeah. smells associated okay. with its... Um, uh, leaves. Well, in these days, when you're having trouble with pollinators, if you were pollinated by a fly, you might be better off. Yeah, it's it's whatever works there in the plant go. world. Yeah. Um, but once you get roped into one one way to do it, you're kind of stuck with that. All way. right. Well, let's start with this big, big right. purple so thing over, down here. Over here, we have a very stinky plant, and I know that many of the um, viewers have seen this kind of thing: a voodoo lily or mm -hmm. a, a morphophallus in the philodendron family. The hundreds of tiny flowers on a little stalk that we call a spadix wrapped up with a big uh, purplish so bract. That, so it looks kind of like right. that. It's like it's a, um, a little thing inside of a sheath. Okay. And uh, the f this thing is just smelly as can be. It smells like a rotten, smells like a dead rat or something. Oh, cool. And this was grown in Jinx Farmer's backyard several years ago. Came over and made a specimen of it. Flies all over it. Really? Oh, I mean, yeah. they really do come oh, to sure. it. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. And um, beetles are also effective pollinators of uh, many stinky plants, stinky okay. flowers. And a fly, of course, has, is so hairy, he might be a better pollinator than a beetle, but... Yeah, I think most flies are pretty okay. hairy. All right. Yeah. What do we have next? Well, this is another member of the philodendron family, but this is one that's native to eastern North America. Oh. And this is a skunk cabbage which um, grows in the Appalachians, probably from the, some of the mountains in North Carolina all the way into New England and to eastern Canada. Very, very stinky. It produces a spathe um, and a spadix, just like the... Um, all right, the, um, the same scenario. Right. Um, but it produces this, uh, its flowers early, early in the... Well, I guess late, late in the winter. And when it comes up through the snow, it makes so much heat that it actually melts the snow, allowing the early, earliest pollinators to get to oh, it. That's amazing. Then it produces the leaves. Uh -huh. So the flower comes first. Right. Melts the snow, and then the leaves yeah. come. Very smelly. I and can't, the, that's really yeah. hard to imagine that it yeah. could make that much heat. Yeah, it is, okay. it's, but it's, it's true. That's it's, remarkable. Um, yeah. So the next one we've got is uh, also... And this one is pretty. Uh, this is sort of a showstopper. Uh -huh. Well, this one maybe smells the worst of all. Oh, la, la. It smells like a dead fish or something. <laughs> but it makes these five petals that look like they might be meat or something. Yeah, and of they course, do a little bit. flies like that kind of pattern mm -hmm. and color as well. So this is a stapeliad. Many different species from South Africa, um, but they're fun to grow in rock gardens here and, um, you know, cultivation. And it's a succulent plant, sort of like oh, a cactus. okay. All right. Yeah. So a good one for a dry 
setting. Oh, yeah, and I don't think you could, like, grow them outside. But yeah. um, Well, Corey was... Tanner told us when we were looking at these earlier that he had one of these and that the flies would come and then he would have maggots crawling around on it. So it really just sounds worse and That's worse so and cool. stinkier and stinkier, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Put let's your nose down quick. to that let's one Let's move see on quickly. Is. All right, well, here's a tree. Now, a lot of people have seen this, and, of course, this is a, a Chinese chestnut. Yeah. Blooms in the early summer, uh, and the... Um, I understand they have several at the uh, uh, botanical gardens at Clemson. Somebody was telling me about that just, just the other day. But the uh, the male flowers are produced on these long, skinny spikes. Mm -hmm. So there's hundreds of those flowers. That's where the nasty smell comes from. From the male. Well, that's right. fair game yeah. for once. I'm yeah. so glad the to hear that. Female flowers are up here at the top of <laughs> okay. the uh, stem. So the Chinese chestnut. All righty. <laughs> and again, um, it's happening to get pollen transferred from the male flower to the female right, flower, so right. that you can get those spiny yeah. chestnuts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, the next one we've got um, makes us think of the um, beginning of spring or the end of winter when it's still cold outside, so it's a nice re refreshing change from the weather we've been having. But paper whites, and of course everybody knows what paper sure, whites yeah, are. Sure, we force them and have them early right. so we could have them for and Christmas. And you can put them in on top of your piano or something. Yeah. And, they'll... and they are very strongly Oh yeah, and sometimes fragrant. so so strongly, sweetly fragrant that they get pretty nasty. So there's a sort of a, a, a gradation yeah. between pleasant and unpleasant when it comes to like wearing floral. too much perfume. <laughs> yeah, your floral. mother should 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 caution you not to be quite that smelly. That's right. Okay, yeah, that aromatic. Now we have uh, the, these last two. Um, this next one is also an early spring plant, and that's our Bradford pear. Oh. Which is just one of the worst things in the world that can be planted. Uh, on a, there are some bad uh, things to be said about yeah, it. Because uh, the, the seeds that come from it have those horrible spines and are just taking over the upstate. Durant Ashmore, our friend's always writing columns about how yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. It is an invasive species. Yeah. But the and also smell bad. Smells real stinky. Yeah. But the trees really are pretty when they're Well, and the birds them. do like it. Building. The birds don't seem yeah. to care what it smells like. Yeah, the birds don't care. But I wouldn't want one in they my yard. They don't have any sense. Yeah. Okay. And the last one, over there on the end, has beautiful green foliage and a lovely pink flowers. It's starting to bloom now. It's a autumn, well, a little bit later, yeah. autumn bloomer in the sunflower family, fleabane. Flea bane. And of course, it'll keep the fleas away, apparently. <laughs> and I bought some, Amanda. All righty. So that we can try it. Okay. See if, it, if it's smelly. And here's the flea bane right. from my yard. And you tell me what you think it smells like. Obviously, it's the leaves in this one. Yeah. It smells like it might repel some things. Yeah. Yeah, I it think is. So. Yeah, I can it's smell a little it from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty strong. Yeah. But um, pretty I nasty. noticed that it did not keep this little fellow away. No. John tried to take. Um, tease me into thinking he had a real little frog in here. Yeah, she thought it was yeah. at first. Oh, I wish it were, but anyway. Um, <laughs> well, that's fun, and he wouldn't mind probably um, because he'd be like the dog. He just yeah. smelled bad but didn't yeah. have a nose. At any rate, um, John, thanks yeah. so much. And, you know, it really is fun to think of all the wonderful things that are up there in the herbarium. Um, and people actually come and study. There's a real purpose for these because these are type specimens sometimes, and we can find out a lot about the distribution of plants and things. Well, we? yeah, what a number of scientific reasons for having a, a collection of objects like this and one of them definitely is to under, have a better understanding of biodiversity, plant biodiversity in a given area. And we're lucky in South Carolina because there are a lot of really cool plants here. It's one of the coolest states to be a botanist yeah. in. Well, we sure appreciate this. Thank you well, so I've much. Well, I've had a lot of fun.